Space is quiet, very quiet, like a fallen leaf off of a tree on a windless day. Like a mouse who saw the leaked finale of Game of Thrones and is trying not to spoil it for the rest of its mouse friends. It's my job to explore it. Space, I mean. It's a tough job, but someone has to do it. And there's no one better suited for it than me, Captain Mike, and my spaceship, the Battleship Mike. What are you doing? Nothing? Are you sure? It looks like you found a spaceship. Anything you want to tell me, Mike? Hey, Cap, I found a spaceship! I can see that. Whose is it? It's mine! Whose was it before? I don't know. So you stole it. Look at all the buttons! Mike, don't change the subject. I'm not! I'm just touching the buttons! This thing's awesome! Just get out of the ship before the owner comes back, or you hurt someone, or both. I haven't touched all the buttons yet! There we go. Mike, get out of the spaceship. No. Mike, get out of the spaceship. No. This thing is too powerful to be left out in the open. What if it falls into the wrong hands? You just blew up Han Solo. Your hands are the wrong hands. I just won't touch that button anymore. I'll be careful. Trust me, everything's going to be great now that Mike Wazowski has a spaceship. What do you want to do today? I want you to get out of the spaceship because you're ruining everything. I can't leave the spaceship. The ship and I are one. Wherever it goes, I go with it. Anytime, any place. That reminds me of something I've been meaning to ask you. Have you left the ship over the past couple of days at all? I knew that smell was coming from you. I still deny being the cause of that smell. Get out of the spaceship, Mike. I heard you the first time and I'm still not leaving. Look, if you're going to be such a negative Nancy, then I want to go home. Let me know when you stop sounding like a broken record. That's it. Did you just hit me? Did you just try to knock me out of my spaceship? Uh... Do you hear that sound? That's the sound of you breaking my heart. I expected better from you, since we're best friends. We're not best friends. SCIENCE! I'm not listening to you anymore. I'm the strongest person in this world now and I'm done taking orders. Get out of the spaceship! Stop hitting that button! Stop blowing people up! ENOUGH! It's time for me to give some orders. To everyone. I'm a god now, Cap. I'm a god in a spaceship! Mike, you're scaring me. You know what's scaring me, Cap? I haven't even touched all the buttons yet. You have to be stopped. You see that box over there? Be careful, or you'll end up just like this. Hey guys! <laughs> He has got to get out of my line of fire. That was his fault, not mine. Anyway, I'm after the world. Bye! Do you still want to stop him? Ah, I thought you died. Don't worry, it happens a lot. You die a lot? Do you want to stop Mike? Yes, I want to stop Mike, but I can't. That spaceship he's in, it's, it's too strong. For you, yes. But I have a secret weapon. Why don't you use it? Mike has put the fear in me. I can't fight him anymore. But you can. With this. That'll do. Just try to bring it back in one piece. Mark! Well, well, well. Looks like the Star Spangled Man has grown some wings. I have to stop you, Mike. You're going mad with power. That spaceship is making you evil. How can someone as adorable as me turn evil? Don't make me hurt you. I'd like to see you try. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry, Mike. It was the only way to stop you from accidentally destroying the world. Deep down, you know this was for the best. I do actually feel a lot better now. That thing was a monster. And hey, I don't smell anymore. Yes, you do. <laughs> Looks like our spaceships are wrecked. Easy for you. I had to return mine. I guess we've got some apologies to make to the owners. Or we could just... run. I'm kinda getting sick of spaceships. 
Ah, another classic Cap and Mike adventure comes to a close. Did you have fun, Cap? You aren't concerned at all that you found out what evil you are truly capable of when you're given power? I don't know what you're talking about, I just had fun with the battleship Mike. In that case, I did not have fun. But I'm glad it's all over. And I did learn something. Really? Yeah. You know, spaceships are fun, but they can be dangerous. From now on, I'm going to leave space to the professionals. And besides, I don't need a spaceship anyway, because the most important type of ship is a friendship. That's what you learned from all this? I don't think you learned anything. I learned things! No, you didn't. All the stuff you learned is so situational and specific that it's never going to come up again. What are the chances of you coming across another spaceship? Probably small. Very small. So you saying you learned something for next time you find a spaceship means nothing. You went completely evil, learned nothing, and I can guarantee it will happen again. No, why? I learned stuff! I really doubt it, Mike. I really doubt it. That's a shiny horse. Mike, don't even think about it. I'm just gonna take it out for a test drive. Mike, now you're stealing a horse. For once, think about what you're doing. Where are the buttons on this thing? How do I find the rockets? Mike! You hit me on accident again! Not on accident! Green people have been attacked long enough! Oh no. Mr. Goblin, how many times have you been made fun of for being green? Ah, uh, never. See? They don't even acknowledge him! The time to fight back is now! Mike, there is no green racism. You would say that. You've never experienced the prejudice that we have. Yeah, prejudice! Goblin, you just said you'd never been excluded for being green. Nice work, pal! Green power! 